dowel noir. So for this, obviously, we'll need a broom handle or a dowel. We're going to be going through a sequence of movements that is going to prepare our body, okay, especially the spine, uh, shoulders, and hips. So to start off with, what we're going to do is we're going to place the dowel on top of our upper back, so not on the neck, on top of the shoulder blades. We'll simply take a generous bend of the knees, and we're going to simply rotate. Now, you've got a couple of options here as you rotate. You want to look behind you and slot the wall behind. Okay? What you can also do is you can just leave your focus straight ahead as well. So you can play around with this rotation. Maybe you want to turn the glutes on and then the abs on, which will make different parts of your spine stiff and then you can let them go so you get a bigger rotation. Okay? From here, we're going to go into what we call like swimming forward motion. So the idea here is not to kind of really shuffle our hips side to side. Imagine there's like a wall either side of the hips. And then we're going to simply just swim forwards, tucking our chin onto the chest, and then raising that chest to the ceiling. So from the side, okay, we're not really hinging at the hips. We're trying to actually round the upper back and then trying to lift the sternum or the chest to the ceiling. Okay, just so in forwards, you can play around with big circles, maybe small circles, but the idea here is to get into the upper back, okay? From here, backwards. So, same thing, okay? With the spine, we're trying to really round the upper back, then looking to extend the upper back, okay? The only difference here is our elbows, our hands are going behind us this time. So, we have the rotations. Okay, the swing forwards and the swing backwards. From here, this one's a little bit tricky, so watch this carefully. We're gonna have the legs a little bit wide, okay, about double the shoulder width apart, and the toes are gonna to be pointed forward. From here, we're going to shift the hip to one side, and we're going to bend the knee on the same side. So, we're gonna shift the hips, bend the knee. As I do this, I'm gonna pull the dowel down, and I'm going to look up at the dowel that's pointing up, okay? From there, I'm gonna get big, I'm going to shift to the other side, nice and simple, boom. So you're going to feel this stretch through the adductors, your thighs, a little bit of the obliques, the side body, and then bang up. So just do a couple slowly to start off with to kind of get your uh, body prepped a little bit and to understand where you want to go into, okay? Really important we get big. From there, then we can start to be more dynamic, okay? So the key thing here is to make sure we stand tall and we get small. So we'll get big, then small, big, then small. From sideways, you, you want to make sure that you're not doing this sort of thing, okay? You're literally bending to the side. So again, for some of us, it's going to be a big movement, for some of us, it's going to be a little bit small movement, and that's okay. From there, we're going to hinge the hips, so if your legs were there, okay, we just did the side bend, we're going to go into a hinge of the hips and drive back up. So again, we want this to be done with straight legs. The butt are trying to go back behind you, side view, okay? And then we're going to boom, drive the glutes through consciously. So we want to just nice and simple. Okay. Hips through. Again, you push into the outside edges of your feet. Okay, so nice and strong. From there, we're going to pull the dowel in front of us. Okay, about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider, depending on your shoulder structures. And then we're going to make sure, okay, shoulder back and down. Now, visualize that tabletop. We're going to slide on top of that tabletop, moving forward. Then come down to the top, and then up, and then top. So we want to make this nice, smooth, controlled rotation of the shoulders, okay? But without really moving the dowel up and down. From there, we'll simply reverse the order. Okay, so from there, we're going to hold onto the dowel on the end. Now, if you've got a longer dowel, you can hold it like this. Okay, you've got short dowel, you just push into the ends like so. From there, head take again, nice. Uh, this is between your feet, soft knees. We're going to push the front hand into the back hand. So we want to then look at the back hand when we do this. The idea here is we're trying to open the chest up a little bit, okay, the shoulders, so we can start to play with different angles a little bit further up. Maybe straight across. Okay, maybe a little bit further down. Okay, it's just nice and simple. The key thing though is to push okay, the front hand into back. Look, my back arm is straight, so the idea is to open the front up. Okay, from there, guys, we're going to go into a little paddling motion. So from there, okay, I'm going to push the top hand, keeping the generous back of the knee, I'm going to just paddle forward. 
So again, my hips are still here, okay, and my shoulders are working. So I'm just trying to keep that shoulder active, and I'm going to reverse it, pushing the bottom hand into the top hand, okay? Nice and simple. Again, we're not trying to move the hips up the side. Just look at it one point. Okay, it's nice to have the dowel come by the hips. From there, we're going to go into, again, nice wide stance. Similar to what we did at the start, we're going to shoot the hips to one side, bend the knees on the same side, and then push the bottom arm into top arm. Again, take a pause here, just to better understand what you need to do. Get big. Same thing on the other side. Okay, really push the bottom hand, top arm, to try to open the side body up. Obviously, you can get the adductors here as well a little bit. And then get big. Turn into dynamic. Okay, same thing as before. Get big, free this, small, big, small, big, small. Again, from sideways, make sure you're not doing one of these. Okay, you are trying to stay tall. Okay, side bend. From there, just nice and straightforward. We'll get into a little more of the lower body. So what I want to see happen here is we're going to put the dowel by the hips, back of the forearms, okay, like so. Some of us may need to have a wider stance. Some of us may have an narrow stance. It's up to you with your mobility, okay? But the key thing is this. We want to, from here, bend forward, try to track the back. Now, if you need to bend your knees, that's okay, okay? But the idea is to stretch the hamstring and use my compression strength. And with then, come down to squat positions, my arms, and I want to push the tummy into the towel to try to really pull the chest up in the squat position. Then again, straighten the legs, trap the bar, drive up. So again, nice and simple. Boom, hold this, keep pushing this, you're gonna snap the bar, trap it, tall. Okay, so we're just gonna get that squat and hinge pattern happening at the same time. Make sure we get big and small. Okay, one more. And that's our dowel warm-up.